Hi friends, today we are going to learn VRM sections of the laptop that's called a CPU core voltages also and here we can see the concept of uh, how this uh, CPU get the power uh, this one is a CPU and this entire section is called the VRM section or the CPU core section which generate uh, CPU core voltage and the graphics core voltage because the graphic chips also inside the processor so but before that uh, CPU should get uh, these three voltages like 1.05 1.5 and 1.8 from the different pulse width modulator once the CPU get all these voltages uh, then uh, CPU received this signal that is called the VR on signal uh, this VR on signal you get either from SIO in the Compel motherboard and Quanta motherboard and in Vistron motherboard and in Foxconn motherboard this VR on signal generated by uh, different sections but uh, anyway but uh, CPU should get uh, VR on signal that is supposed to be 1 volt and supposed to be 3 volt in some sections okay so it's like that so here we can see uh, CPU required total 5 voltages that is 1.05, 1.5 and 1.8 and then CPU core and uh, graphics core. CPU core voltage is supposed to be approximately 1 volt and uh, 30 ampere and uh, graphics core supposed to be 0.9 volt or 0.8 something like that and supposed to be 10 to 15 ampere current. Okay, so CPU require the huge current that is the 30 ampere current. So he is required two pulse width modulator. Here we can see the two pulse width modulator and both voltage join together and reach to the processor. So this is my the VRM chips that is uh, make of ISL 95863 and this chips require two powers to work. That is one is VIN voltage that is 18 volt and uh, VCC voltage or the VDD voltage that is a 5 volt so he required two voltages to work then uh, these are the pulse width modulator these are the total three pulse width modulator we can see uh, this two for the CPU core and one for the graphics core it's not necessary uh, all the VRM sections have a three uh, pulse width modulator in some sections the graphics score generated by the different pulse with modulator like that also so but here we can take in single screen all this uh, two sections together okay so next is uh, once the cpu got this power uh, this three voltages the next is uh, this vrm chip get the signal that is called a vr on signal like this that's supposed to be three volt or now the lattice motherboard in one volt so you should get the vr on signal saying that turn on this pulse with modulator once he receive this uh, signal this vrm signal generate the pulses like this trigger all this mosfet these are the mosfet trigger here is 18 volt that is vin voltage here is 18 volt and here is also 18 volt this all voltage chop and trigger the mosfet gates and here is the pulse setting ac voltage will be generated here the pulse setting AC voltage will be generated and this goes to the different coils and then coil stop the AC and pass the DC which is filtered by this capacitor and reach to the processor. So this is my uh, step one is uh, power, step number two is VR on signal, step number three is this pulses, then step number four it should get the output voltage. You can see in this animation how this voltage is going and reach to the processor so once the processor get the power from the vrm section that is in current that is in amperes he send a signal that is called a svid signal that is called a serial voltage identification signal this is a two wire communication protocols between the processors and the vrm sections so he send this two signal saying uh, what the level of current is required if they require more current he tell the VRM section I need a more current so like that he can uh, convey his message uh, to the VRM section that's called the VID signal so once this voltage gets stabilized the CPU core and graphics core is stabilized that is supposed to be approximately 0.9 volt both 
पॉइंट नाइन और पॉइंट एट और पॉइंट वन वोल्ट ऑल्सो ओके सो वंस दिस वोल्टेज गेट स्टेबिलाइज देन ही सेंड वन सेंड आउट वन सिग्नल दैट इज कॉल द वी आर एम पावर गुड लाइक दिस दैट इज थ्री वोल्ट एंड इन दिस वे दिस वी आर एम को वोल्टेज इज वर्किंग नाउ now we'll see how to find the problem if the core voltage is not coming if you have a motherboard in that uh, the cpu core voltage is not coming then uh, first of all we'll see where you have to check uh, the voltages we'll see this suppose you have a motherboard like this okay and uh, here you can check uh, cpu core voltage and this coil and the graphics core voltage at this coil okay these are the cpu core for and these are the graphics core suppose this voltage is not coming and you can check in the dc power supply also uh, the if if the in dc power supply is current something uh, 150 milliampere or something 250 milliampere in between 150 and 250 milliampere then your cpu core voltage is not generating there are so many reasons uh, this voltage is not generating so you can check the voltage here if the if the voltage is not coming here then what you have to do is you have to first check first you have to check uh this voltage is that is a vin voltage that is 18 voltage there is adapter voltage and then this 5 voltage the vcc voltage if this voltages are coming then you have to check this vr on signal okay you should get the vr on signal at this vr on sig a uh, pin at the chip vrm chip if this voltage is not coming then you have to check why this voltage is not coming you have to trace from where the signal is coming i already told you that uh, this vrm co voltage is coming uh, from sio in compel motherboard and in quanta motherboard but if the motherboard is vistron and foxconn this vrm core volt uh, vr on signal generated by a different circuitry so you have to trace that uh, where this uh, signal is coming from okay so you should get voltage if not coming you trace this if this uh, we are a core voltage is coming we are on signal is coming then what you have to do you have to check uh, in cold test whether all this mosfet whether they are working fine or not you have to test on the multimeter and uh, check the resistor and remove the processor check whether any short circuit or there you have to uh, connect uh, multimeter keep multimeter on buzzer uh connect uh, ground probe to the ground and positive probe to this coil your resistance should be high it should not show a low ohm resistance at here also and at here also if the resistance is low like uh, 1 ohm or 2 ohm without the processor or any if the buzzer is coming that means uh, there is something short circuit so you have to remove that short circuit if the if there is a not short circuit then uh, connect the processor check the resistor the resistor should not a uh, zero ohm it should show something resistance okay if this resistance is okay then this uh, cpu is not short so if the cpu is okay and uh, this both the signal like uh, both the voltages are okay on the vrm chip and this signal is also coming at this uh, vr on signal is coming but still cpu core voltage is not generating then that means this uh, vrm chip may be the faulty you have to replace this core chip okay and uh, this way you can solve the problem so now uh, we'll see on the schematic diagram how to check uh, where where are the test point We open in this schematic diagram. So, okay, we have the open one. This schematic diagram. You can see in this schematic diagram. This is called the VRM section. This one is the quanta motherboard, and uh, this uh, chip is called the VRM chip. Your this section is called the uh, graphics core voltage is generated. That is uh, 33 ampere, and here is the CPU core voltages. Okay, and uh, first what you have to do is. Uh, first allo increase this you can see in this this chip is isl 9535 and uh, you have to check pin number 20 18 volt 
then pin number 19 5 volt and pin number 26 5 volt these are the three input powers to this chips uh, sometime there are only two powers that is a VIN and VDD or VCC so 18 volt and 5 volt and in some now in the latest motherboard there is only VCC voltage that is a 5 volt only so you have to check accordingly uh, the pin according to the chip and the next signal uh, required to this VRM chip is called the VR on signal this pin number 6 you should get here 3 volt in some lattice motherboard here is a 1 volt so you should get a 3 volt here that VR on signal command to the VRM section to turn on once this uh, VRM section receive this VR on signal uh, from the SIO what you do is is a trigger there are the three pulse width modulator in this chips one is for this graphics this and these are the two for the CPU this one this and another one this so once he receive this signal he trigger this MOSFET this MOSFET this is a CPU co voltage you can draw here This is a CPU core voltage. This uh, he trigger from this two sections. He trigger and uh, here is a CPU core voltage we generated on the both the section and this two sections connect each other. Two section connect here and here you can find supposed to be one volt and uh, something current the current you can check can't check here but somewhere 1 volt somewhere 0 0.8 volt or 0 0.9 volt something like that you should get a voltage over here okay so and this voltage goes to the CPU once this voltage gets stabilized the VRM section send a VID signal that is called the VID signal and this VID signal goes to the this VRM chip now in this VID you can see a uh, pin number pin number 5 and uh, 3 these are the VID this is called the SVID this is called a serial voltage identification signal the two signal one is clock and data this is a bidirectional it communicate with the CPU it communicate with the CPU okay and once this voltage is stabilized uh, this VRM chip send uh, send out one signal that is called the power good send out one signal that is called the power good that signal is known as vrm power good that's supposed to be three volt if three volt comes out that means the entire vrm sections working fine so in this way we can see how can we check the voltage on this uh, motherboard you can check the motherboard on uh, this uh, here these are the these are the test point these are the VRM chip VRM chip and uh, this one is called here you can check 0 0.9 volt that is a CPU core and here at junction of this uh, MOSFET there you can check the graphics core graphics core okay that is also supposed to be a Point nine volt. So in this way we can see how this VRM section is working. Thank you very much.